This day has been uh, one of the most difficult days in recent memory for me. A powerful voice in conservative talk radio, delivering some difficult personal news to his listeners. I have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Rush Limbaugh revealing that doctors discovered it last month after he experienced shortness of breath. The announcement from the polarizing personality drawing mixed reactions. We are all praying for the man who has literally paved the way for all of us, especially me. President Trump calling him a great guy and fantastic political talent, wishing him a speedy recovery. But others called for more reflection. Actor John Cryer tweeting he hopes Limbaugh gets the best medical treatment. And I hope that while he is doing it, he thinks about why he doesn't think poor people deserve the same thing. I have a question for the Democrats. When are you people going to get tired of losing? Limbaugh's conservative views paving the way for a dedicated following throughout his more than 30 years on air. The Republican kingmaker, an ally and friend of President Trump. He's been from day one. He's been so incredible. Good times, bad times. He doesn't waver because he's tough as hell. Limbaugh most recently slamming the impeachment trial unfolding on Capitol Hill. There's not a crime that has been found, mentioned, elucidated. This whole thing is a sham. The 69-year-old admits he started smoking cigarettes when he was 16, quitting years later. He went on to become a fan of cigars. I happen to love big ring gauge cigars because I I, I don't like these thin little things that make you feel like you're drinking soup. You know, if you're going to smoke a cigar, smoke a cigar. This is not the first personal struggle Limbaugh has shared publicly. In 2001, he addressed losing his hearing, later receiving cochlear implants to restore it. He also went to rehab for a prescription painkiller addiction. Limbaugh now ready to face a new challenge. We've got a great bunch of doctors, a great team assembled. We're at full speed ahead on this. And while Limbaugh plans on taking some time off to have further testing, he says he's going to try to return to his radio show as often as he can. Mm. All right, Kathy, thank you. We want to turn to NBC medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar. So based on what he said, he he said he did recognize that he had shortness of breath, but thought maybe it's asthma, maybe it's Mm -hmm. something else. What are the symptoms? What do you take away from what he revealed yesterday? Well, Savannah, the most common symptoms of lung cancer would be coughing up blood. It could be a new prolonged or worsening cough, definitely shortness of breath, chest pain when you take a deep breath in, and also what we call constitutional symptoms. That's just feeling weak or tired, maybe losing weight or having a decreased appetite are some common symptoms. He talked in the piece about smoking cigars, Mm -hmm. and I think some people think, well, cigars are actually okay. Yes. They're not like cigarettes, but what's the truth there? No, no, no. Cigar smoking definitely increases the risk. 80% of lung cancers are secondary to smoking. So definitely, definitely a risk factor for him. But, you know, the treatment and the prognosis is really based on um, a lot of different things, such as the stage and extent of the cancer, the person's overall health, what their underlying lung function is, for example. So people who did smoke and have emphysema may, may not be able to tolerate, uh, you know, a, a, a big resection, um, and also the kind of, of cancer. There's there's two major subdivisions of lung cancer, um, and the prognosis depends on, you know, which one that is. What are, what are the treatment options? I would imagine, as is the case with most cancers, yeah. there are a number of treatment options. Absolutely. So, so the treatment options, Craig, could be anything alone or in combination, including chemotherapy, surgery, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, which is when you harness your own immune system to attack kind of the, the cutting cancer. edge, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And also what's called targeted treatment, which actually are medicines that can t- disable this, the cancer's ability to, to grow and divide. Okay. Wish him the best. Good information, Dr. Azar. Thank you, Kathy Park. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.